Now let's start working on the last major bit of functionality, um, the part that uploads images. And this one's going to be a little complicated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Assets folder, and I'm going to make a copy of drophandler.js. And then I'm going to rename it as drophandler.gif. And the reason I'm going to do that is so that I can drag and drop it. So I'm going to drag and drop it onto the page and say upload and it says completed but what it really did was not much of anything at all it just basically returned the PHP page so let's go ahead and start implementing that we need to do this in two parts the front end and the back end so I'm gonna go to my file upload handler.js and I'm going to change the call to upload the file in Ajax so it's right here instead of calling uploader.php I'm just going to call uploader and then in my web server I'm going to implement another if statement Then I'm going to call a, a special function and give it the request object and the response object. So here's my upload file function. And let's just start by looking at the request object. And then we'll also call file not found and pass in the response object. So go ahead and oh, I have to reload. Okay, now hit upload. Okay, so we got an error back. It just says error. And here's what we have on the request object. So a bunch of stuff. There's uh, Basically, this is a multi-part message. And so there's multi-part form data with a boundary. And... Uh, if we read the actual contents of that request, we'll see what the actual data in the body looks like. So stop that. And go back to our web server. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the BL package buffer list. And then here, I'm going to call request.pipe into a buffer list. And that takes a function callback. Like so. If error, let's just console.log error for now else console.log data. So we need to install the BL module. And then reload. drag and drop and upload so we get back this buffer which is pretty hard to read so let me convert it to a string And 
uh, now upload. So here's what we see. So there's a header that has content disposition, including the file name and content type, which is the MIME type. Um, and then there's the actual data. And since this isn't a real GIF, um, it's uh, the JavaScript for the drop handler that I renamed as drophandler.gif. And then there's a MIME boundary at the end. And uh, since we have this as a string, or as a block of binary data, either one, um, we could actually parse this ourselves. We could um, find the boundaries which we have in the request, and we could go through and break out each part and get the binary data from here and the MIME type from there and the file name from here. Um, but that's obviously a lot of work. And so what we're going to do instead is use another module called multi-party that makes it easier to process form data. So let's go ahead and require multi-party. And we're going to need to install that, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now we're ready to use multi-party. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a form, which is a new multi-party.form object. And then we can set some methods. So we can set a form dot on error. And this is going to be a function that gets an error. And for now, we'll just log the error and then we'll call file not found response. And then we can set a part listener, which takes an error and a part. And here, let's console.log part colon, comma, part. And then to kick this whole thing off, we want to call form.parse. So let's see if this works. Oops, already installed multi-party. So the reason I don't have to reload this page is because it's just issuing the Ajax request back to the web server. And that part hasn't changed. So I got a crash. On cannot read property headers of undefined in form.parse. Oh, I have to pass in the request object here. Because it's got to parse the request. Okay, so part is undefined. So I think what I need is, I think this only takes a part callback. Let's try it again. Upload. Good, okay, so that time it worked. So here's my part, and basically it's the same kind of stream as I had with the request. So it's got a headers 
property that's an object with content type and content disposition and so on. Um, and then I can also read from this buffer to get the data. So let's go ahead and do that part. So what I'm going to do is cart.pipe into a buffer list function air comma data so just like I did before and then if air then I'm going to handle the air else These are just placeholders, so I'll fix those eventually. Else, I'm going to console.write data.toString. Upload. So let's see what we have. So I got a little crash. Oh, it's not console.write, it's console.log. OK. So let's change that to console.log data.toString. Upload. Great, so here's the data, that's the actual data. So I want to pass this buffer list in, I don't actually need to convert it to a string. So I'm going to store this buffer list in the database, um, and I also need a couple of other fields. So let's collect all of those, and the first thing I want to do is let's open our upload uploader.php So we need the file name and the MIME type and the size. And then this is the data. So we need four things, name, type, size, and data. So let's assume we have image db dot upload file. And that's going to take a name which we have to get, and a type and a size and data, which is just going to be our buffer list. And then it's going to need a callback which takes a response and that's going to be a status object which will be the ID of the new image record it created. So let's get rid of that. So we need to figure out how to get the name and that's going to be in this part data here. We should already have that in our log. So let's go ahead and this will crash because of those dots. So for now, let me just say false, false, false. And then let's add our upload file method. I'll start by calling this thing again. Start by copying this thing again.
And this time it's going to pass in an image. Comment this whole thing out for now. So undefined is not a function, upload file. It's upload file, not upload image. And let me also take a look at this part. So I don't want to log the data here, but I do want to log the part. So, okay. So we have a file name property and we have a byte count property. So those are two things. So that's part.file name. And this is part.byte count. And then the mime type is headers content type. Let's see if we have it anywhere else. So part.headers. Content dash type. And since this has a dash in it, we need to write it this way. And that should be everything we need. So on this side, let's just go ahead and console.log image. See if everything's hooked together properly. Okay, so here's what we got for our image. We have a name, we have a type, we have a size, and we have a data buffer. So that's the first part. We're handling the form data correctly. We'll have to come back and clean the error messages, but in the next part, we'll add the image to the database.